Hey guys, it's Mimi Webb at 96.5 TDY. I'm so excited to be chatting with you guys. I always knew um, at such a young age, like I always was like getting up in restaurants. My dad would always be getting me up to perform and sing. Um, and yeah, I just, I was always loved it. I did musical theatre, I did acting and singing and I just did the whole thing. I just absolutely loved it. Um, and I think for me, I just, I always knew I wanted to be like, it sounds really bad, like I was always centre of attention. I was like, always trying to be like the loudest person in the room. Um, and I just, you know, my voice is, I've got like a husky voice, like speaking voice. And when I was a kid, it was even more husky. So um, I always kind of like, loved to to kind of do like fun things with my voice like I do accents and some really strange things when I was a kid it was really fun and I think I just always knew I wanted to do that and my parents could see that and um I think you know I then started to get into learning to play instruments um and writing music and then it all just started to grow from there I just love like Disney as well so like I'd I used to love all the movies and like any kind of like accent of a character I'd try and like redo <laughs> my family always knew I wanted to do like I wanted to be on stage and always you know being up there doing something in the lights <laughs> I sang a lot of Adele <laughs> the emotional big songs I loved someone like you that was because I could play that on piano that was the first song I like learned I always I think for me I just always loved like the emotional like I loved emotional music and music that I could really express myself Adele of course um I love Nat King Cole I love jazz music and as I got as I got older and went through my teenage years like I just loved you know loved I was just falling in love with jazz and now I'm 22 I'm like full-on jazz lover um so yeah I'd say like I you know I think the older I got and like the more I grew I there was different kind of genres of music that I just loved typical day off um I would probably try and do like some self-care get a massage workout um there's always like some other bits to do that like, on social media and just try and like really relax and enjoy that day um you know, probably like be in my flat and enjoy that as well because I don't get to be, be home much. So yeah, probably something like that. I just literally binge Netflix. Anything on Netflix, I'm all over it. <laughs> I love the heart emoji, the little cute like face. It's like, but like with the little tear, like sweet face. Probably like the fire emoji. Yeah, changes a lot, but yeah. My star sign, so I'm on the cusp of Cancer and Leo, um, but a lot of my traits are like Leo. Um, and then my rising sign is Virgo, I think. So it's like a bit of a mixture. Fire signs. <laughs> Lots of fire signs. Um, but obviously I've got the my cancer side that's like sweet and emotional. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm mean, so into it. I think it's, and when you do your full chart, it's so cool to see, you know, exactly what you are. I would say I hang out with a lot of Aries. Um, Scorpios I get on well with. Um... Capricorn, I don't know, it depends. Capricorns are very, like, chilled. Um, and, like, Leo's are very, like, intense. So it's, like, it depends on, like, the kind of, like, attachment style and, like, the whole, like, communication thing's very different. But, yeah, I don't know. I think it's different, isn't it? When you do your full chart, you can then see, like, your rising sign, your moon sign. Like, there's a lot to it, isn't it, to, like, really, like, take it down to what it is. But I went through a situation um, where red flags, you know, I was running completely sprinting through red flags <laughs> um and I was kind of just ignoring it and knew it wasn't right knew that there was something just wasn't like I had this gut instinct in me and it kind of made me started to make me be different and act differently to who I am and I think um you know so for me I wrote this song with my friends and it was weird because it was in a time where I was getting back into a situation that I shouldn't have been getting back into but now I look back at that, I'm like, wow, like it's crazy because I literally, was, we wrote that song around that time. So yeah, I say, you know, it's just all about, you know, I think something people can really relate to. It's something when you get so into something and you're so obsessed and excited about something, you just kind of forget about seeing those signs. Um, so yeah, you know, I wanted to take that situation and make it into a really fun song um, that's like uplifting and just kind of like sassy. <laughs> it like starts to get really, go grow really fast. And it's like, you feel like you're love bombed. And like you're being told that they love you, like they're like, I love you. And it's like, it's been three weeks, like calm down. But like in the moment you're like, oh my God, love of my life, like this is it. Like it's just one of those things when you meet someone and you just know it's the one, like you know, all of that. Um, but yeah, like, you know, I think it's when it's like, very intense and it feels unsafe. I think that's a really big, unf uh, big red flag. Um, and then just little things like little behavior, communication things. I would say, um, 
you really need to like sit down and th- speak, like have a chat to yourself and go through what's going on. You know, really go through the pros and cons because, you know, when you do really like someone, you just think, oh, like it's just great, it's great. But there's actually you'll, there always is those undercover red flags that you've brushed past. Um, so I would say just really because you, you know you want to protect yourself, you don't want to get yourself in a situation where you know, you you end up in a mess. Well, actually, it's my t- I'm going to be 23 of the 23rd month of the 2023rd year this year. So actually, yeah, that actually makes sense. So that's quite cool. <laughs> We're doing 333 album. I mean, look, that's what it is. It's it's the year. It's the year of Mimi Webb. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm just so excited to get this album out. You know, it's going to be my first ever album. And just to, you know, it's just so fun. It's the, the name of it's, you know, my real name, Amelia. So... I'm just so excited for everyone just to see more songs, just to hear more of the songs and just to see my journey for sure. Oh, I love that. I love a gratitude list. My life, traveling. I'm so grateful to be able to do this. Um, My family, my friends, they're all amazing. And I'd say just the so my self-love that I'm, I'm really loving myself at the moment and really into that. So yeah, I'm really grateful for that. Thank you so much for watching. Go listen to my new song, Red Flags, out right now. And my new album, Amelia, is out March 3rd. So I'll see you guys there. Lots of love.